Well, have a wonderful day again. Uh, this is the next lesson on how to use a uh, Russian artillery piece the hardcore way. Uh, this is the third part of the of this uh, video, and I suppose you watched the first two and you know how to unfold, fold the gun, and level the gun. So now we suppose that our gun is folded and leveled. And in this uh, tutorial, we are going to see to learn the working principle of the aiming periscope. Uh, what you need for that is well, if you good old D thirty A gun and uh, and your attention, uh, the aiming periscope. Well, you bring up the aiming periscope with the uh, with, with pushing the the S Sierra uh, but key. Uh, is your aiming periscope. Uh, to look into the aiming periscope you need to push the uh, right mouse button and you look into the aiming periscope. You see? That is the aiming periscope from the outside and that one you look through the aiming periscope. How does that work? Well that is the picture of the aiming periscope you see? and. Uh, the uh, eyepiece is the number six. That's the place where you where, where you are looking through. It always you, it, it does not change. Uh, the the rotation does not change. You are always looking through these eyepiece. And uh, what you are looking at is through this two. You are looking at this periscope, the number two. That's the uh, that's the periscope piece. That's the head of the periscope. What you're looking through. It's it's the number two. Uh, I will let you show you that uh, there are two separate rotations, horizontal rotations you have to be aware. First is that you rotate the gun and the second is that you rotate the periscope. How do you rotate the gun? You rotate the gun with the, uh, with the arrow keys, right and left. You see, I'm, I'm now rotating the gun. I'm rotating the gun right with the right arrow key and the gun rotates, you see. With the left arrow key, the gun rotates back. If you see it from uh, from outside, what you see, it, it is your gun. It ro it rotates right. You see, I'm rotating the gun right, and with the left arrow, I'm rotating the gun left. That's how simple it is. You rotate the gun, but there is a separate rotation. You can rotate the periscope separately. How do you rotate the periscope separately? With the letter Z and X. I'll show you. Uh, well, it is the outside view of the uh, of the gun. Let's put out the periscope at this moment, and we get closer. On the yeah, above, just above the soldier's head, uh, is the periscope. If I push the Z button, it starts. If if I push the X button, it starts to rotate right. You see how it rotates? It rotates right. If I push the Z button, it rotates left. I push the Z button, you see, and it just rotates left. That's how it rotates, left and right. Well, it is a little tricky. It is a little tricky because uh, uh, because it is first of all the numbering is counterclockwise and it the zero is backwards. But I will explain it to you later. What you see here is uh, the gun. If I rotate the gun, the entire gun rotates. You see with the left and right arrow. Your, my entire gun rotates, that's the barrel. Now I rotate the barrel. But with an X, Z and X, I just rotate. Now I'm not rotating the barrel, I'm just rotating the periscope, you see. Obviously when you rotate the barrel, that is it at the periscope is attached to the barrel, the periscope also rotates with the, with the arrow keys, you see. But with the Z and X, I only rotate the periscope. Let it see from outside. You see, we get closer. What I do is I rotate the gun with the arrow keys. The gun, the entire gun rotates. You see, the entire gun rotates, and you can see just above the soldier's head, the periscope does not change. But with the Z and the X, you rotate the periscope. You see that? You rotate the periscope. That's how the principle of how the gun rotates. 
how the gun and the periscope rotates separately. The periscope rotates with the gun, but you can rotate the periscope separately. You, gun, you, you rotate the gun barrel and the periscope together with the arrow case, and you rotate the periscope separately with the Z and X. Well, why do you do that? Uh, let me show you. Let me show you why do you do that. Let me just show you why do you do that. Because this uh, uh, aiming device, this periscope, is basically an angle measuring device. You measure angle with it. How do you measure it, the angle with it? Well, there is a scale in it on the top of top part. Let me show you that. It's this. It is the top part, what just you just saw, the scale. Uh, the scale obviously has numbering, and the numbers, uh, the, the principle of uh, what it shows is the follows. You see the gun from the top side, and this is what these are the numbers what the periscope, sh uh, uh, the periscope scale shows when it, the periscope separate rotated into any of the directions. You have to see that it is pretty tricky because the periscope will so show zero, 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 zero. That's the big digits. That's the small digit. Uh, you have four digits, zero, 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 zero. You will show zero, 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 zero when you are uh, with the periscope. You are watching exactly behind the barrel. When you are uh, watching with the periscope in the direction of the barrel, your periscope will your periscope uh, scale will show thirty zero zero. You see, when your periscope is watching the right side, your periscope will show fifteen zero zero. When you're on the left side. Uh, your periscope will show 4500. Uh, that's a little tricky, but uh, it will come handy when you are trying to align the gun. So, uh, uh, what is, uh, let's see it is in practice. You are in your gun, your, bar your barrel points to some place, whatever, and you see the periscope, and the periscope, what it shows uh, on, the, on the upper scale, it shows 3033. So it's 3033. If I align it to 3000, zero, zero, that's exactly, it shows 3000. Zero, zero. You see, it shows 3000. Zero, zero. That means, that means that my uh, gun is exactly, that my uh, periscope side is aligned with the barrel exactly, and it is showing 3000. Zero, zero. You see? What do I do if I want to want to uh, look at the let's say right side of the gun? I have to set fifteen zero zero. That's when I will look at the right side of the gun. But I'm not rotating the barrel. I'm rotating only the periscope. How do I rotate the periscope? Like this with the letter X or Z. So I'm going to fifteen zero zero. You see twenty two twenty one twenty nineteen. 18, 17, 60, and now I am at 15, 0, 0. That's exactly, I am at 15, 0, 0. You see, my barrel, um, the rotation of my barrel did not change. I only rotated the periscope to the azimuth 15, 0, 0. That results that I am exactly watching on the right side of the gun, you know, parallel. Why is it that? Because it is Russian mills. These are not NATO mills. This is six, 6,000. This is not, uh, this is not uh, 6,400. This is 6,000. So anyway, you are looking at 15, zero, zero to the right side of the gun. You see how simple it is? Uh, if you want to align your sight, your periscope back to the original point, to the barrel, what do you have to do? That's easy. What do you have to do? You just have to uh, go to 30, zero, zero, and you only rotate your uh, sight, not your, not your barrel. You rotate the sight with Z. So again, I go back to 30, zero, zero. And here I'm here I am. Thirty zero zero. I am looking exactly where the barrel looks. Why is it important? You will you, you will understand later why is it important, how it is 
important. <coughs> oh. The only thing is you need to understand that it does not ha what it shows uh, on which rotation. And also you have to be aware that it's not only Russian mills, which is 6,000. The entire circle is 6,000, not 6,400 like in NATO. It's 6,000. But the rotation is counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. You see, the digits increase counterclockwise. Not clockwise like uh, the regular angle measuring devices, but counterclockwise. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1500, and it, it, it increases to 3000 to 4500 and back again to 6000, which is zero again. Uh, this is so this is how your horizontal rotation this is how you rotate your gun and how you rotate your periscope and what your periscope shows uh, uh, for your understanding you need to play with it a little bit uh, to familiarize yourself and uh, uh, it's really a fun that you need to understand it to go on further and and to understand how to orient your gun <coughs> <coughs>